In this lesson we want to take a look at another example of Expresso. I have uh, two spheres here, one master and one slave. And what I want to do is, I want to move my master around and the um, slave, the green one, should follow my master with a given offset in the position, so this one here, but also with a time offset, so with a delay. So let's try this. Um, first of all, as usual, we need to create an Expresso tag, maybe on the master. And what I want to do is I want to read out the current position of my uh, master sphere here. To do this, we simply drag in our master, cre create an output port, coordinates, position. And of course we also need our slave. So we'll take the slave object here, create an input port, coordinates, position. So if we now just connect them directly, you'll see that instantly our green sphere snaps onto the position of our master because they now share the same position. So, but we want to do this with a um, time offset first. So, there's a node called memory. And this node is pretty cool. It can store data over time uh, in a given time, which you tell him in frames. So we'll, we will connect the position of our master to the input. And in the memory node, we'll set the data type to vector, because our position is a vector. Okay. Now we have two values, the history depth and the history level. With history depth, you tell the memory node how many frames in the past he should save. So if I type in 100, for example, he will store uh, the position of the master for 100 frames in the past. So we can leave it at 100 for now. And with history level, you tell him vi which value you want to read out. So if it's set to 0, he will output the current position of the current frame. If you type in 1, he will take the position of your uh, master sphere, which is one frame in the past. If you type in 5, he will look 5 frames in the past. So let's maybe just type in 20 and connect this one to the position of our slave. If I now hit play, that my viewport refreshes and take my master sphere and move it around, you see that the um, slave sphere, the green one, is following with a time offset of exactly uh, those, how many was it, uh, 20? 20 frames, yeah. So this is pretty cool, but I also uh, want an offset in the position, so the green ball should be on the left side of my red ball. So let's try this. So we need to do something with our position here. So we will cut this connection again. And I want to do something with the x position of this vector, so the, the x component. So I will use an adapter called vector to reals. This node is pretty simple. It takes the current position vector of our um, of our master, uh, not the current position, but the position of 20 frames in the past and split it up to real so we get the coordinates of the position x, y and z and then I can simply use a math node type in math connect this one here and just type in my offset and I want minus 130 because I want to Offset my green ball 130 to the to the left, and then I recombine um, my x, y, and z components to a vector again. So we need the opposite of this node here, which is called reals to vector. Maybe we stretch this window a little bit. Okay, so we take our modified x position the y and the z position 
And let's first of all do something like this. But you can see as soon as I will connect them, my sphere is on this side. So let's hit play and move. Nice. So now the slave sphere is following my master with the time and with the position offset. This works really, really well. Um, one tip, if you forgot what a um, uh, specific node does, for example the memory node, and you don't know exactly what this node is good for, you can always click them, and then you get all these attributes here, and then you can right click on a value name here, and uh, click on show help. Um, make sure the help file is installed with your Cinema 4D version and then you get the pretty good uh, explanation of every single node and if you click on memory operator you will see an example of this node, how we can use it and a description of this node um, and every single parameter is explained pretty good here and this works with every single node so you can also see all of them here with the categories, general, adapter, bool, calculate, all this stuff and click on them here maybe and then you, if you click on the name up here you will always see an example with a description and if you click on parameter um, they, uh, all the parameters are explained pretty good so it really helps a lot of times because you can't remember all the nodes and all the functions because there are just too many of them. So in this uh, lesson you learned how you can build up this uh, little expression here where our slave sphere follows the position of our master sphere with a position and with a time offset. And in the next lesson we will extend this example here and build a lot of slaves and I will show you how you can uh, build a setup where those slaves are placed automatically and they all have another time offset.